Lots of companies make mistakes. Some mistakes just turn out to be more costly than others. Take Blockbuster Video for example who turned down the chance to buy Netflix for $50 million in 2000. At the time the price was seen as far too high for Blockbuster to pay. Hindsight is a wonderful thing of course, and Netflix is now worth $145 billion, whilst Blockbuster is left with just one token store globally. Or of course Yahoo, who failed to buy Google for $1 billion in 2001, now worth over $800 billion, and doubling down on refusing to themselves being acquired by Microsoft in 2008 for over $44 billion. Eventually Yahoo was sold to Verizon for a little over $4 billion. In the case of American Airlines, well, they are still paying for their mistake nearly 30 years later. Their mistake may not hold the same grandiose numbers as the other examples used, but in terms of aviation, which works on thin margins, this was a substantial misjudgment. In 1981 American Airlines realized that those metal birds that they make their revenue from required some basic inputs such as fuel and well, staff. Unfortunately for American Airlines, they had run out of cash. Scraping for nickels to keep their fleet flying, Americans' former President Robert Crandall wanted to cut costs dramatically and rebuild the airline from the ground up. With high interest rates at the time, the airline came up with an alternative way to try and raise quick cash, by offering unlimited first-class tickets for life, for $250,000 each. Inflation adjusted, these first-class tickets, also known as the A Air Pass, would cost $570,000 in 2019, although American discontinued selling them in 1994 after getting 28 customers to buy them. The issue that American quickly found out was that although consumers may not abuse an unlimited option in many other arenas, such as unlimited soda at a restaurant, or even an all-inclusive holiday, where the majority of people will still have physical and dietary limits of how much food and beverages they will consume. When it came to first-class tickets, the customers who bought the unlimited passes were more than willing to go the extra mile, literally and metaphorically. The purchasers of the A Air Pass were a level beyond what might be classed as a frequent flyer, with stories of some travelers using the pass to fly as many as 10,000 times, until American Airlines revoked what it had originally promised as, unlimited lifetime passes. I caught up with Steven Rothstein who was one of the customers who purchased the infamous A Air Pass. Rothstein, a former investment banker from Chicago, said that he flew four times a week and American approached him to buy the A Air Pass. They told me that they viewed the A Air Pass like a bond, so it was as if I was lending the airline money, and they needed money. So they gave me a very good deal, said Steve. 